Hello everyone, in this video I will be going over all the books I bought in March, most of which are from the Barnes & Noble BOGO 50% off sale on comics and manga that lasted through the 26th of the month. Since patience is not my forte where books are involved, this is not an unboxing video and all of these boxes were opened as soon as I got them despite my attempt to not do that. I will be going over my purchases in the order they were made starting with the ones I got at the beginning of the month for my birthday. So my birthday was in March and I'd been visiting a friend in San Jose and when she asked me what I wanted for my present, I told her to just take me to the bookstore. She can attest to my unbridled joy as I shopped for books because people buying books for me is like one of life's top three joys or at least it is for me. Anyways, we went to a used bookstore in San Jose called Recycle Bookstore. I got four books at the bookstore my friend took me to. The first one was Atlas of the Heart by Brené Brown. I read this book last year and it was actually my favorite book of the year. I heard about the documentary on HBO from the same friend who bought this for me now that I think about it. So I watched that and then I read and listened to the book. It made such a huge impact on me and is one of those books that I just want to be able to have on my bookshelf for easy referencing. It's a hardback with a smooth, shiny texture for the pages inside of it. So it's really nice. The next two books I bought are by the same author. Haruki Murakami. He's been an author on my want to read and buy list for a while, so I picked up these two books. The very first book is Kafka on the Shore, which I've seen so many reviews about, and this has been on my want to read list for almost three years now, but I now finally own it. The second book by this author that I picked up was 1Q84. I believe this is similar to George Orwell's 1984, which will make sense since the number 9 in Japanese is Q. This book has a lot of pages. Over 1,000. I don't know when I'm going to read that, but yeah. The last book I got was The Maid by Anita Prose, and it was one of... It was the only one of all the four that I got used and at a discounted price, which was one of the reasons I bought it. The other reason being that I had entered three giveaways for this book on Goodreads but did not win a single one. I now own it though, so take that Goodreads. Another really neat thing that came with these purchases was bookmarks. I got free bookmarks for all the four books that I bought. They're not fancy or anything, but they'll be functional. And did I mention that they were free? For the Barnes & Noble sale, I made three orders, the reason being that the books in this first purchase were all about $20 each and all the other books that I bought in my two orders were around $10 to $13, so I decided to separate the orders to maximize the number of books that I could get from the sale. For my first order, I got books 2 and 3 of 3 Danmei series that I already owned the first books for. The first series is Heaven's Official Blessings. I have watched the first season of the animation on Netflix and it is also available on Billy Billy. I know many fans are waiting with bated breath for the second season, myself included. In the meantime, I'll just read this book though. The second series I bought is the Scum Villains Self-Saving System. There is an animation or dongwa for this as well. I've only watched one episode, but it was so funny that I decided to buy the books. I don't know much about the story beyond the first episode that I watched, except that it was written by the same author who wrote Heaven's Official Blessings and the last series that I bought as well, which is Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. I've watched the Dongwa for this one as well and some of the drama, so I'm most familiar with this story out of the three of them, and I can't wait to read the books. The only other book that I would have liked to get in this order is A Thousand Autumns. I've seen some clips of the Donghua, and the story sounds interesting, but there was only one book available on Barnes & Noble for that series, which would have made my order odd-numbered, thereby losing the sale discount for it, so... 
I just have it saved on my wish list for now. For my second Barnes & Noble order, which was meant to be the last order, I bought volumes 8 through 15 of the manga Jujutsu Kaisen. Volume 8 isn't pictured here because I'm currently reading it, but it should be within grabbing distance somewhere here, so I'll include it in the shot soon. I watched the first season of the anime when it first came out in 2020-2021, and I really liked it. My brother has been bugging me about reading the next arc, which is the Shibuya arc, and picks up right where season 1 ended. These arc and Toji Fushiguro pictured on volume 8 have their own fandom and everywhere you go it's just like manga spoilers or people shouting about how insanely good this arc is and I just like really like to get into the storyline ahead of the season 2 release which is in July of this year. I also recently rewatched the first season since it's been a while since it was released and I want to touch up my knowledge of the story before I get into the next arc. And I have this cute Hualien bookmark from Heaven's Official Blessings that I'm using to mark my last red location. For this second order, I was trying to decide between Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man, but I ended up getting Jujutsu Kaisen because the brother that's been bugging me to read it actually gave me a gift card for my birthday present. And I just thought, well, he gave me a gift card, I might as well buy the manga he wants me to read. So. That's why Jujutsu Kaisen won over Chainsaw Man. Before my last purchase on Barnes & Noble, I'd made a trip to the local used bookstore where I live. So this purchase technically came before that order, if I'm going in the order these books were purchased. It was by far my least exciting trip to that bookstore since I started going there. I only bought three books, but they were about $10 for all three of them, so that was really nice. The most expensive of the three is the one pictured here, Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow that I got for $4.99. And I picked this one because the author is a Pulitzer Prize winner. The book details Harvey Weinstein's decades-long assault and abuse of women, and this book was actually listed as a book that sparked the Me Too movement, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with, so it's definitely going to be an interesting read. The second book I got was C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity. I own some books by C.S. Lewis, and I've always wanted this one, but I just never got around to buying it. I was really happy to find it because I can now take it off the list of books that I want to buy. For the very last book that I made as part of this purchase, this one initially caught my eye when I spotted the cover and again after I saw the name. I hope this reaches you in time. It's somewhat morbid but with a hint of hope attached to it, it made me curious enough to flip through it. It's kind of a collection of poetry and prose that touches on toxic relationships. I'm flipping through it to read one of them. This one is a really good one. Sometimes letting go isn't the loss you think it is. Sometimes it's easy and for a good reason. Sometimes when you put yourself first, you realize that people aren't as great as you made them out to be in your head, and that's okay. Progress and growth don't always have to be seen as a hardship. And now for the finale, my last order from Barnes & Noble. I had initially intended to place just two orders, but then I realized I had some money to spare after looking at my budget for the month, so I placed one more order. This order was dedicated to yaoi and shoujo manga. Shonen like Bleach, Naruto, and Fairy Tale really got me into manga when I was younger, but the two genres that made me do a deeper dive were shoujo and yaoi. And the four mangas that I have shown here are ones that I've never read before or heard about before. I have volumes one and two of Toritan, Birds of a Feather, 
I've never read it before, but I am pretty familiar with this mangaka and I recognize the art style immediately. Her name is Kotetsuko Yamamoto. Some of her other works that I've read in the past off of the top of my head are Honto Yaju, Omairi Desu Yo, Konya Mo Nemurenai, and Sukite Wa Iwasete. No, Sukite Iwasete. The next two are a shoujo manga called Ima Koi, and I have volumes one and two of this as well. I've never read this before, like I said earlier, and I'm not familiar with this mangaka at all. But I thought the cover was really cute, and the description was as well, which is why I bought this one specifically. It's about a shy girl who blots out how she feels to her impossibly handsome classmate. That's literally how he's described but he accepts and now they're in a relationship. Sounds super cute and fun, so I'm going to read this first two volumes and buy some more of it if I like it. The other four mangas that I bought in this order are stories that I'm very familiar with. My Happy Marriage is the first one. Although I know the title as My Blissful Marriage or the Japanese title Watashi no Shiawase Kekon, I started reading this manga last year, I think, and as far as I know, it hasn't been updated in a while. But then again, I haven't read it in over six months now, so I might be wrong. This is, however, getting animated this year. I remember seeing the trailer for it right around when I stopped reading it last year, and I was so happy. It's a fantasy shoujo manga with kind of a Cinderella trope. It's usually a storyline I think has been overdone, but I really like this one. And I love the main character, male, the main male character, like a lot. He's super stoic, take no crap demeanor that only ever softens in front of the people he cares about is like one of my favorite things in male leads. And there, there are a lot of them going around in like isekai, Manwas as well, which is a story for another day, but yeah. The last two books in this order are In the Moonly Dusk. I never really paid attention to the English translation of the title when I started reading this last year as well, and I only ever knew it by the Japanese title, Uruwashi no Yoi no Tsuki. The updates on the manga were pretty consistent every month, and I haven't read this one in a while as well. I started reading it because I thought the character design was really, really pretty, and that was how I was able to immediately recognize it, even without knowing the English title. The storyline is okay, but I mean, look at how gorgeous the two main characters are. At the point where I stopped in the story, there wasn't enough going on to tell what direction it was going. But I'm pretty invested in Yoi and Kohaku's story, and I'd really like to see where it goes. I didn't buy more Yaoi in this order because when I was looking through what Barnes & Noble had online, I realized that I've read about 80% of them, and I ended up buying this guys instead. So that pretty much wraps up my book purchases for the month of March, and brings my total count for the month to 27 which is more books than I've read the entire year. Thanks for watching guys and happy reading!